Welcome to Let the Quran Speak. We are answering questions we've received from you, our viewers. If you have a question, visit our website, quranspeaks.com. Dr. Shabir, the question is, there is a set of four videos by a scholar that says the Mahdi is here and in Lahore, Pakistan. Please look at this and let me and others know about this. I'm new to Islam and have heard that there will be a false Mahdi. I don't know enough to tell if this is true or not. Hmm. Yeah, I had a look at the video, Sophia, and um, what, what I see is uh, uh, a young man um, saying that he has been uh, seeing dreams for, for decades and uh, God and, and his prophets speak to him in, in his dreams and have now commanded him to make his dreams public. So he's making his dreams public. He, he seems to be an unpretentious individual. He's not claiming himself to be the Mahdi. In fact, he says that will be a kind of a major claim and uh, you know he's not going to make any such type of major claim. Uh, he doesn't claim any sort of uh, special thing about himself. He doesn't claim to have any degree of piety. Uh, he doesn't claim to pray regularly even. Um, in fact, quite the opposite. He, in a video where he was being interviewed, he says, no, I don't pray regularly. And uh, when God commands me to pray regularly, in my dream that is, then I will pray regularly. When God commands me to wear a beard, I, I will wear a beard and so on. Um, so he says, you know, I'm a simple individual, I don't go out much, and uh, you know, this is how he speaks. Uh, but it seems that some people are enamored with the idea that there is going to be a Mahdi, and perhaps this is the guy. Mm -hmm. uh, now, uh, which is uh, a little bit strange, because in, in, in our history we have had many people who have themselves proclaimed themselves to be Mahdi, uh, or the rightly guided one. and. Um, and, and then some people believe, some people do not believe, but in this case the, the person himself is not making the claim, but others seem to be making it for him. To the extent that uh, someone has even apparently uh, prepared a video, uh, perhaps with the help of AI, to um, uh, snip together uh, clips from uh, known Muslim scholars whose uh, a uh, um, wording can be put together somehow uh, to make it seem that they are acknowledging this person as the Mahdi. But one such speaker has come out openly and uh, put out a video himself saying, no, that's not me, that's fake. Uh, I don't recognize this person to be the Mahdi. So maybe from all of this, if uh, if you're interested, we can step back and, yeah, and talk a little so. bit. Yeah, yeah. Let's take a step back, talk about what the Mahdi is and <laughs> yes. you know what sort of basis it has within the Islamic tradition. Yeah, so the, the word Mahdi I've already given away means, means a, a, a guided person. Uh, so, you know, Muslims talk about hidayah, which is the a verbal noun from, from that. Uh, so, we want hidayah, we want guidance, and uh, we say, Hidina suratul mustaqim, guide us to the right path. So, the Mahdi is a guided person. And we understand by that to be a, a person guided by God. Now, in some Islamic traditions, it is mentioned that in the future, a certain rightly guided person will come at a time when there will be a lot of oppression and injustice. And uh, this Mahdi, this rightly guided person, will, by the grace of God, uh, institute a time of peace that will last, uh, perhaps, uh, according to varying traditions, five years, seven years, nine years. And uh, this will be a time of uh, of justice and equity. Uh, and uh, uh, sometime after that, it seems, uh, Jesus and Home Be Peace will arrive on the scene, uh, but not uh, before the emergence of what is known as the Dajjal or the Antichrist. So the Mahdi himself, uh, I'm not aware that uh, the tradition say that there will be false Mahdis, but there will be a false Christ, the mm -hmm. al Masih Dajjal. But here, you know, we should uh, add that the traditions uh, do vary uh, a lot, and there is even a tradition which indicates that there will be no Mahdi except except Jesus on whom be mm -hmm. peace, the, the Messiah, the Christ. Yes, I was reading that there are some scholars who think that Mahdi equals Jesus. Equals right? Jesus, yes. Yeah. So there's some vagueness and ambiguity about that. And uh, it is interesting also that uh, the uh, no hadith in Bukhari that I could find, uh, the, the most authentic among the uh, books of hadith, uh, speaks about the Mahdi. Now, in uh, and the Quran doesn't mention and the Quran doesn't mention anything about this coming Mahdi. Uh, Sahih Muslim, which is the next uh, level of authentic uh, among the authentic books, 
uh, does speak of a future caliph who will distribute uh, uh, wealth abundantly, uh, but does not refer to this one by this technical term, the Mahdi. So, uh, yes, it is a common belief among Muslims that uh, a, a rightly guided person will come in, in the future, and it is based on these traditions which are not in the most authentic books. Uh, but most of us would rather take a wait and see attitude because if the Mahdi comes, that will be great. We will have a period of peace. Uh, you know, I, I, we need one now I mean, the, in this time of injustice and corruption. If somebody can be guided by God to lead the Muslim nation into a period of peace and tranquility and harmony uh, and uh, justice and equity and so on, um, we should all be celebrating that. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, given our history, many people have claimed it in the past. Uh, you know, they could have had psychological problems, whatever the reasons, um, but they have not proven themselves to be the Mahdi. Mm -hmm. and, and if the present claimant is the real Mahdi, well then we will soon see uh, the emergence of, uh, of peace and justice and equity. So what are to, we to make of this individual, Dr. Shabir? Well, I think uh, this uh, individual, I mean, it's, uh, I would have not paid attention unless somebody had asked this question. Um, again, I would say, let's see if, if he is the Mahdi, then first of all, he will know it and he will declare it. Uh, rather, some other people will declare it, uh, like they will acknowledge him. Uh, and we would expect that the person who is the Mahdi will be a leader of Muslims uh, in, in the sense of uh, doing what Islam commands, um, like for example praying. If one is not uh, going through the regular prayers of, that as a Muslim is expected to do, it seems difficult to conceive how that person will lead the Muslims spiritually. All right, we'll leave that at that. Thank you, Dr. Shabir. You're welcome. Tired of seeing how Muslims are depicted in media? You can help. Support Muslim Media Hub, the first of its kind to empower young Muslims to create content for film, TV, and social media. Visit our website, QuranSpeaks.com, and donate.